New information on a drive-by shooting at a park where two people were hurt. It was breaking news last night at 11. A man and a woman were both hit by gunfire. We're now learning this is not the first time this park has been the scene of a crime. Just last week, police responded to a shooting there at Xander's Park, which is along 11th Street in Winter Garden. And that is where we find New Six's Nadine Giannis. Nadine, you just spoke to the woman who was shot at the park. I did, Ginger. She is a 19-year-old girl who said she was coming near to hang out with her friends when a car pulled up and someone inside started shooting. And if you take a look, Sanders Park here is a place where kids feel safe to play during the day. But unfortunately, now it's a park where police are stepping up their presence tonight. It went through my calf and then it went up upwards into the knee area. A purple bandage wraps around 19 year old John Quayla McCreary's leg where a bullet is still stuck in her knee. She was one of two people shot in a drive by shooting at Xander's Park in East Winter Garden last night. As I was running and I felt my whole body get hot and I felt my leg like feel so wet. So I just um, went to screaming. I was like, I'm shot, I'm shot. And then I went to collapsing, but somebody grabbed me before I fell. In 911 calls, you can hear the fear in a whispering voice from a caller at the park right as it happened around 9 o'clock. You can also hear that caller realize a second person was shot. Police identify as Sherman Ivy, or known as Shaggy, who sleeps at the park in this neighborhood. His mother tells us off camera he was shot twice in the head and is fighting for his life today. It's an unfortunate incident. Obviously, we need to do everything we can to be safe. Um, if you ever see something that is concerning to you, bring it to our attention. We're a 24-7 business. This while Winter Garden police are making sure they're making a presence while also trying to find who pulled the trigger. That's stupid. Like, if you wanted to shoot somebody, they could have went to the person they wanted. Or, like, that's stupid anyways to be shooting. This a public park. Kids was up here. So, I don't know. And so we just learned today that it was just a little over a week ago, Winter Garden responded to another shooting at this same park. They said that shooting involved a group from Orlando clashing with a group here in Winter Garden. Now they're investigating to see if those two shootings are related. But neighbors here, Ginger, are sick of this violence. They say it has to stop, especially for the sake of these kids behind me. We'll hear from those neighbors in my story tonight at 6 o'clock. Absolutely frightening for them. Nadine Giannis reporting live. Nadine, thank you.